for. The rhizophere around the roots is particularly enriched because there are nutrients that the, and exudates coming off of the roots. Although um, we shouldn't think of terms of plants being extremely leaky, but they are naturally partly leaky and the microbes benefit. But all microbes are respiring. So they're producing CO2 and I've indicated it builds up in the soil and then starts diffusing out. But guess what concentrations it reaches in the soil? This is what's so interesting. If you put a CO2 probe and bury it in the soil, and we've done all these studies, we're talking three to 10,000 parts per million CO2 in the airspace. But it doesn't just sit there in the airspace, it dissolves in the water and forms carbonic acid. Okay. Carbonic acid is one of the oldest studied organic acids that, that, that can be discussed. At least it comes from the decaying organic matter. But it, it forms a, like a 0.1 molar solution in the soil. And what is that doing? It's weathering minerals. It's a gentle weathering agent to release potassium, particularly, and trace elements from all the mineral structure in the soil. So plants are creating CO2 in an envelope around their roots through the rhizosphere activity. Meanwhile, there's humus in the soil being decomposed, and it's naturally dissolving the minerals that the plants are then recovering. So this is nature's way of extracting minerals. And w what we did is we jumped right over it in modern soil testing. We used powerful destructive reagents to extract nutrients, one and two molar concentrations. We have additives to it to pull even more minerals out so we go way above and beyond what the plants are able to do. And then we base all our calibrations and correlations on these strong reagents. So it's not any more a gentle system that the plants are using and employing. And we've overlooked the role of, of carbonic acid in the soil solution. Okay. Thank you very much. I, I just had one question. Yeah. You, you talked about the the scholarly or the, the academic tradition of uh, that looks at soil respiration, soil carbon, and then this relationship between soil carbon and nutrients that has come up uh, in just slightly the post-Libic era, and it was kind of de well developed by the mid-70s, but we're entering in a, a very exciting period right now in the sense that a lot of this science, instead of being confined to the organic farming uh, community, has, is going mainstream. Would you just kind of talk about the, the revolution that's going on in that? Yes. Well, it's been a revolution of over 100 years, thinking about carbon dioxide. And I give a presentation where I show it was fully developed in the 1920s. And particularly Swedish scientists really mapped out the role of carbon in soil, the respiration cycle, and they even mapped out the potential of plants being carbon starved. And then by the 50s in Germany, they standardized CO2 respiration testing and published those methods. And the world was like noticing this, but nobody was doing anything. And when the organic movement really kicked up in the late 60s and 70s, we all took advantage of these new methods to do biology studies of soil. But it was confined to the organic community for the, the next 30 years, in effect. And now I see it winding out. Cover crops um, and the interest in no-till and the interest in sparing and saving soil and improving soil has suddenly caused all these questions to emerge in a much broader context. And this is very exciting. It's the first time we're having dialogue with soil laboratories about upgrading methods, not just one or two. I'm in discussion with 30 labs in the USA right now, and they're all agreed, let's start upgrading methods to include this kind of testing. So I, I feel the movement is, is really be about to take, take a big step forward. Well, those are really exciting times, and I'm looking. I'm watching this, and yeah. I've, I've been a witness to some of it in the last four or five year, years, and that's really exciting. Well, I, I know that you're busy and you need to take off, so I appreciate your. It's been a real pleasure. Glad yes. we had a chance to do this. Uh, absolutely. Great.